we're going to talk about passing and catching, um, which you might think it sounds a, a very simple uh, topic, but so many skill errors and, and turnovers happen because we don't effectively teach passing and, and catching. All right, so I'm going to just do a little bit of a preamble and then we'll get into some very simple drills. One of the reasons we don't teach a lot of passing and catching is we remember when we played how boring it was to stand in front of a partner and make 50 chess passes and all those awful drills that we did for so long. So, <clears throat> so what we end up doing is we don't do it. We don't teach the kids to catch and pass and, we, and then we get cranky when they can't catch and pass, which is really unfair. So some thoughts on catching. As a receiver, it's your responsibility to improve the pass quality. And what I mean by that is, if someone's passing me the ball and I don't catch it with my eyes, my hands and my feet, that's my issue, not the, not the passes. It's your responsibility to improve the quality of, of the catch and quality of the pass. Catch it in the air and catch it loaded. So often kids catch it with their heels down, all right? If the ball's in the air, you're in the air. So I wanna catch it so I'm ready to go. Um, coach spoke a lot about kinetic energy and the kinetic chain. It's the same with catching, all right? So we have gotta make sure that we engage that way. Be an active receiver. That's so common, right, that kids fumble the ball or don't make a clean catch because they're not ready to receive it. They don't prepare. We talk all the time about hungry hands, all right? When we coach little kids, Aussie hoops, we talk about 10 and two, right? 10 big fingers, two big eyes. Yet we allow kids to, you know, at the next level to, to run around with their hands in their pockets. You gotta anticipate being open, right? So if someone's under pressure and I'm the receiver, I've gotta realize they're under pressure. I've gotta realize they're wanting to pass me the ball. So I've gotta anticipate being open. Fumbles kill space. We know in modern offense, right, it's all about pace and space. Well, the one thing that'll kill your spacing is fumbles, where kids just don't catch it clean. All right, we've had sessions in camps um, that where we've charted fumbles, just where a kid catches it and they have to bobble it a little bit. And there's been up to 70 of those fumbles in a two, two and a half hour session. Now they're not turnovers, we still main possession, maintain possession, but just that little fumble now stops me from being able to hit the next guy in rhythm to shoot the ball. All right, catch it with intent. I always say any idiot can get a catch, right? I'm a thousand years old and nearly the same in weight, right? I can catch the ball, but do I catch it intent, with intent? Do I catch it, I'm open and I'm ready to shoot or I'm ready to, to drive, all right? You've got to be an active receiver. It's really important. If I'm coaching youth basketball, I'm outlawing one hand catches, all right? If you can get one hand to it, you can get two, all right? Now I might have to block and trap it. I might have to block it with one, but my only job in life now is to get the second hand to it. I would outlaw, outlaw one hand catches. Talk to the kids about shot ready hands, all right? So if you're a shooter, everyone thinks they're a shooter in the modern game, everyone thinks they're a three point shooter. Well, I'm okay with that as long as you've got shot ready hands. So if I'm opening the corner here and there's penetration, I don't wanna be here. I'm shot ready hands and to David's point, shot ready hands to me is getting ready to have my, guy, my hand behind the ball. So now when I catch it, I'm just shelling peas, all right? So you've got to catch it with great intent. Thoughts on passing, ball, ball follows feet. Too many kids pass across their body. All right, if I want to throw it there, if I want to walk there, right, to get a hamburger, I don't do this. All right, I just go bang. And it's the same with passing. If I want to pass it there, I've got a point and pass. Right, if I'm on the penetration and I want to throw it to Marinda, I've got to point and pass, all right? If I'm throwing it across my body, one, there's more chance for it to be deflected, but two, I haven't engaged, to David's point, the kinetic chain. The pass is your responsibility to the, catcher, to the receiver catches it, all right? 
Oh, coach, he, he dropped it. No, no, no. Right, you've got to drill into young players that the pass is their responsibility or someone else has secured the ball. All right, that's a big one. Most one-hand passes could be made with two. All right, I know we talk about outside hand to outside hand, but even an outside hand pass starts with two hands. I lift and then I extend. I don't throw that. Most one-hand passes should start with two or can be made with two hands. I'd get you, if, you know, people are mad for stats now, I, I, I would chart one hand catches, one hand passes. And it'll be a direct correlation with turnovers. All right? So we've got to go, you know, yes, we want the kids to be creative, but we want them to be, to be, to be fundamentally sound as well. All right. And last one, teach fake a pass to make a pass. You know, that, that, that's an old saying, but it, it's so, so important. So there's a bit of preamble here. Now, guys, get in groups of three. One ball between three. The defender's got a noodle. Quick, quick. Not your fault, but the head coach went over time. We've got to move. All right. So as I spoke about... Those days of just standing in front of the person and throwing the pass, yeah, we're gonna do it with little kids, but it's not applied, it's not a game sense approach, all right? Very rarely do we get to make a pass in basketball that there's no defense. So if, if very rarely we, we have to pass against defense, what should we be practicing? Passing against defense, all right? Now you prov provide a numerical advantage so there's a level of success, right? But we've got to have some D in there because we've got to provide some context. That's one of the biggest words in modern coaching, context. Everything we do has got to apply to the game or it's got to have a context to what's going to happen to a game. So give me the first group of three here. Sp spread out, spread out. You're here, you're guarding him. All right, so. All right, he's going to pass it here, all right? What you're trying to do, you've got noodle for extension hands. You're trying to touch it either with your hands or the noodle, all right? You're trying to get it to him without it being touched by the hands or noodles, all right? The only thing, the only rule is you can't throw a bounce pass, all right? Perimeter to perimeter bounce passes are the worst pass in basketball. You see all the time, guard forward, they throw a bounce pass. It's too slow, it doesn't get there quickly. I'm not saying the bounce pass is not important. It's fine, pick and roll, it's fine, high, low. But when you're going perimeter to perimeter, that's a turnover waiting to happen, all right? So now he's gotta make this pass, all right, without it getting deflected. You've got one dribble, one fake, and one pivot. Go. All right, go, now you run at him. All right, same, good. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. Now, we want active receiver. You see the guy stands here like he's got a surfboard in his shorts. All right, so he's gotta be an active receiver and he's allowed to move half a meter either side. So if I'm coming here on the bounce, where would it be common sense for him to move? Yeah, bang, so I can make that pass. All right, guy in the middle, you're, as soon as you get a deflection, you're out. All right, go, go, go. Good, good. Good, you're out, you got a deflection, good. Here we go, quick, quick. Here we go. Good. Go. That's a deflection, it hit it, it hit it, go. All right, stop. Simple drill, when we're little we call pig in the middle, all right? Now we've just added a training aid, all right? Funny story, we got that noodle down the road, David stole it from a six-year-old kid at the supermarket, but I, I won't go into that now, all right? But how often are they being deflected, all right? All of a sudden, because he's a little bit bigger now, a little bit longer, we can't go three passes without deflection. You've got to pass it and catch it with intent. 
If the drill is making sure I don't get it deflected, I'm working my ass off to not get it deflected. You see they go out there, again, passing's boring. Every second pass is deflected. Right, you've got to be a ruthless dictator with this. Guys, play in stance, pivot, fakes, deliver it hand to hand. Don't get it deflected. Go. All right, now, same thing linked to what David was saying. He's getting every pass deflected because he's passing like he's got a job at Billabong. All right, everything's straight back. He's got, there's no, there's no core engagement. There's no kinetic chain. This is the problem. The other reason, and it's not just him. All right, come here, you lead there. And I make a pass, no, stay there, all right? I make this pass. What's wrong with that pass? All right, I'm not engaged. It's simple physiology, all right? Point and pass. You've got to be an active creator as a passer. He's got to be an active receiver, all right? You've got to work together. You've got to play instead. This is why turnovers happen. It's not because they can't throw a chest pass. They learnt that at Aussie Hoops. But they, they don't just do simple physiology, they don't do simple body mechanics, and they're not intent. What I say, you've got to pass it and catch it with intent. My intent is I get it to my teammate. So we got this now. We'll use wings, come here. You're in the corner, he's got the ball. You're up here, you're guarding him. All right, corner means corner. All right, so on the first bounce, you're gonna lift like you're making a lead. You've gotta make a pass. You've got the noodle and your only job is to try and deflect it. Your only job is to try and get it there without being deflected. All right, go. Good, all right, go again, now do it faster. Do it faster, go. All right. Simple drill, first pass not bad. What would that pass be like in a game? Diabolical, right? It'd be a turnover or a steal or a deflection or, or whatever else. So when you do these drills, do them for a short period of time. Do them for a short period of time, but the two most important words you can say in practice is play faster. All right, do they want to do this drill for six, eight, 10 minutes? No, I'm okay doing it for three as long as they get 15 reps in three minutes. Where I'm gonna get cranky is they get three reps in three minutes because they're doing it their pace. All right, so go to the corners, work out your groups, all right? Now, how would I make this a little bit better? To me, a drill's not a drill without a closeout, so, I'm starting here, I'm throwing it out and I'm closing out to the live dribble. He's dribbling, right, I'm active. And I'm, I'm trying to get that. There's a point every time I get it, all right? And then we're rotating from there. Go, play faster. Go. Good, rotate, work out a rotation, work out a rotation, good. Yeah, work out a rotation, let's go. Close out, good. All right, let's keep going. All right, hold up. Now, so not too bad, not too bad, All right? But again, you don't wanna do it for too long. I would make sure that maybe everyone passed it twice, then I'm gonna add something else. Right, why? We gotta add context. So now, these are the passes. And it makes sense, all right? So he's coming, and now I'm like, now that's a horse shit pass, 
right? But it's a drill, who cares? Doesn't get stolen and whatever else. You throw that pass in a game, it's deflected, it's stolen, or at worst, he catches it and someone's climbing into him and steps out of bounds. So now play it two on two. So we'll have two groups. So someone slide there, someone slide here. Ball's there, quick. Someone here. Guys, hey. Mate, move faster than glacial speed. All right, give me that. All right, give me that. You're guarding him, it's two on two. All right? So now we've got the same drill, but you've got to make plays now. Go. Close, good, good, good. All right, so now turnover. Two on two, they don't have to do anything else. All right, so now we've got to teach this guy to be an active receiver. Got to give him some details. All right, you've got to break a plane, I'll be you. If I run straight up there, let's pretend this guy's a better athlete than me, just for the minute, right? He's gonna get there quicker than I am because simple geometry, all right? So I'm putting him under pressure because I'm not being an active receiver. So I've got to change his plane. Here, as offense, I can act quicker than he can react, all right? So, boom, hit. Now I've got my chest to the ball, now we can play, all right? So. Th Everyone, if that's a turnover, who does everyone, who's everyone yell at? Him. I'm yelling at my bench, get him out of there. All right? It's a relationship, passing and catching. Here we go, start in the corner. All right, change his plane. Let's go, fellas, either end, here we go. Good. All right, hold up. Now, we have a coach at the Center of Excellence. He runs the men's program. He's got lots of sayings, most of which I can't repeat in mixed company. But one of his favorite is, bad players find the sideline. Bad players find the sideline. Great saying. I'm not saying you're a bad player, right? Where's the first place you go? Sideline. Now who's got all the angle? Who's got all the angle? The defender, right? So what you've got to be able to do is keep here. Now obviously in a game, if he takes that away, you can play, all right? but you've got to stay in this lane so now there's an angle and we can play basketball. Keep that. All right, here we go, here we go. Corner means corner, son. Here we go. Go, go fellas. Good. Now, your only job in life is to get him the ball. All right, go again. Play. Don't worry about me, I'm confusing. Just dribble and enter the offense. Go, go. There you go, good, I like it. All right, swap it over, swap rolls, let's go. Now again, keep going guys, keep going, let's go. Not bad, let's go. See how difficult this is? It shouldn't be that difficult, and that's not a shot at them, all right? There's no connection. There's no eye contact, right? There's no timing, keep going. There's no rhythm, right? This is a hard, in the modern game, this is a hard pass, the entry pass. We just came out of an era where, where no one guarded anyone, it was all, all this uh, pack line crap, all right? I, I could make a pass and I'm awful, all right? Now people are actually playing defense again, all right? It's hard, look at that. I feel in danger standing here off the court. And it's a two on two drill. It's not a shot at them. It's us. Are we giving them the tools to do it? Here we go. All right, now, come down, guys. Part of it, what did I say the two most important words were? Play faster. All right, they're playing the drill. So really, the guard, as soon as they put the ball on the floor, they should be going. This guy should be coming and it's a relationship and then the two meet. You see the guards bouncing around, not going anywhere. There's no pressure on either defender. So you've got to get them to play faster. It'll actually be better if it's faster. 
All right, you know with little kids, slow down, slow down, slow down. Screw that, like I, I coach under 12 boys, all I said for 40 minutes, play faster, go, play faster, all right? Then we can fix problems. But, but by playing slow, we're creating problems, all right? I'll fix this drill like that. I want the same group, everyone just jump out of the road, all right? Corner, who's on offense, go. Now, we'll, what we normally do in basketball is, is blue plays on the same side as yellow. Unless there's been an email sent that I missed. All right, here we go. All right, now, start at half court. As soon as he puts the ball on the floor, you, you, you get him a whack and you get open. As soon as he's open, get in the ball. Right? If you complete that in two, se in two seconds, Coach Herbert will give you $30 each. Yeah? Yeah? Go! All right. Three seconds. Yeah, well, I see how you manage time the, the previous 45 minutes. All right? Problem over. Now, only, th only bit of feedback. We got open. He got open. He got in the ball back because I just put a time limit play faster right all I would say is don't throw bounce passes if you can avoid it I'm not saying never throw bounce passes right don't aggregate me but I would say two-thirds of bounce passes are superfluous that's a fancy way to say they suck right just get it from hand to hand as much as you can right so same thing now he's got his wallet out right now it starts here Starts here. I want to start every drill with a closeout if I can. All right, play. Not bad, all right? You could have short, no, I think he did that one and a half. All right, he could have shortened the pass. So again, this is not about them, it's about you. But whatever drills you do, do them quickly, get them to play faster and get to context quickly, all right? So what I need now is you're in the middle, get rid of the noodle. You're guarding him, right? Someone on a wing, quick, someone on a wing. All right, come down a little, come this way a little bit. All right, dribble, swing, drill again. We need context. It's about relationship. So what your job is, you can't pass the ball from the middle of the floor to the wing. So if you want to make a pass there, you've got to take one dribble with your left hand. As that happens, you make a little cut. You make a little cut. All right, get in the ball. All right, no, no, back there. Just a little influence cut. Good, throw in the ball. All right, jump to the ball, deny it back. Deny, no, 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 you're here, you're guarding him. Deny it back. Now get open, get open. Got to get back out top. You got to get the ball back, good. All right, now swing it. One dribble. Swing it, good. Get open, get open. Good, swing it. Good, get open. All right, now, who's under the most pressure? The guy in the middle. Well, these guys are like, hey, wacko, catch that big guy. All right, he's under pressure. You guys are not helping him at all. You're throwing it up there like, oh, well, all right. So you've got to, what you're practicing is getting a rhythm so you get open. All right, so I'm going to make, jump out. As he comes here, now I'm back. All right, now he's got to get open. All right, so I've got my, here, I right, get open. All right, he's got to get open. Somehow I've got to get in the back of the ball. Then you dribble swing it that way. You've made a little cut, catch it outside the three, deny it back. Good, here we go, go. Now speed, play faster, play faster. Get it, get it, get open. Good, swing it, swing it. Good, get open, get open, swing it. All right, so you would start this drill just with that. All right, so it's this guy's gotta practice getting it done. Put a D on him, D on him. Quick. Now, guys, I know I'm an old man, but can blues play with blue and golds play with gold? Please. No, oh, okay. There's 17 guys in blue standing there, but he's got to get semi-naked in front of a crowd. All right, fair enough, all right? So now, 
Ball's here. So all we're trying to do here is we're going to play drill friendly defense. So you get open. No, 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 you're not going to get open there. So come here and step above me. All right, and I get, yeah. all I'm going to do is just deny that. Now you're full denial. All right, get it back to him. All right, same thing, half denial there. Good. Good, go, go, half denial, good. Make a pass, good. Get open, good. All right, so that, we would just practice that. Now you see, and again, this is about getting open, whatever else, you know, who's a fan of the Rocky movies, all right? When, when Rocky's fighting uh, Ivan Drago, what is he being told? Keep away from him, Rock. Keep away from him, Rock. Keep away. All right? Don't go toe to toe. The, see these guys, the first thing they do after they pass it? If I'm this guy, it's Christmas. And if I'm this guy, I'm grabbing my shirt and I'm doing all sorts because no one's seen it. All right? Strong arm, long arm. Keep away from him, Rock. If he goes to swing a big haymaker at that, he can't get it. Here. The active receiver. Ball swing. Boom. All right. Let's go. Good. Keep away from him, Rock. Good. Strong arm, long arm. Good. Good boy. Fumbles. Fumbles. All right. Swap it over. Gold ball. Now, starting the corners. Quick. Now you got a lift. All right, now you guys are playing. You're playing about two-thirds speed. You're playing flat out, deny it back. Your only job in life is to get it from one side of the court to the other without bounce passes. Active receivers, three on three. Play. Good, good. Keep away from him, Rock. Bounce passes, get your beat, good. Don't play with him, Rock. Here we go. Good. Good. Good pass. That's better. Good. All right. Swap it over. Swap it over. So you three blues jump in on, on offense. Gold, you're on defense. You see, even then, in a, a short period of time, they got a better relationship. But again, what about all those loopy passes? What do they think? There's no one out there? All right. Active receivers, active passes. So I'm going to have to be here, my chest out over my knee. So now my glutes and my core's engaged. So now I can pop that pass. If I'm here, two things are going to happen. Overhead pass and they're going to deflect it. Or I pass with my wrist above my finger, below my fingers. Which way is the ball going to go? Up. I want to pass with my wrist above my fingers. Boom. Wrist above fingers. All right, so here, boom. If, if I'm passing like that, where's it going? Boop. All right, stolen. All right, play faster. Play faster. Catch the ball. Sweep it, good. Good dribble swing, good. Good, nice. Good job, big guy. Good. All right, good job. A lot better, wasn't it? Now remember, we're not here to coach them or critique them. They're doing a tremendous job. Because we move, because, because David went over time by so long, now I'm trying to go as quickly as I can, all right? They did a really good job. I would do that dribble swing drill every practice, all right? You've got Four, if you've got 12 on, a, on your team, you've got four groups of three, you can manipulate it however you want, all right? Three groups of four, whatever it is. Right? And I would start it just with defense on the middle, just so there's a relationship, then go defense on the wing, dummy defense, then let them play, all right? Now, next drill, I need four uh, golds, one just above the elbow, one just off the block, same on the other side, with a ball. Two, two defenders, quick. So just take, take a small step that way, take a small step that way, same, same, good boy. 
All right. Now, birds in the box. This drill's older than sand. All right. But I, I would do it, especially with young groups, all the time. All right. We do it with our Centre of Excellence men's program, you know, twice a week. So you've got seven foot two kids trying to make passes, all right? Because they have to learn to have skill. So you guys are on D. Your job is to try and deflect as many passes as you can. You guys have got four on two. Someone has to be open. So if he comes and guards you, someone's got to be open. Yeah, bang. Now you've got to move it, right? Throw it through. You guys have got to work together. The only thing you can't do is throw it over the box. You know, little kids. Yeah, you can throw it to him, but you can't do that. So we got pivots, right? Here I would bounce, I would ban bounce passes. Right? Play, birds in a box, go, move it, move it, move it, good. Swing it, good, good. Start every pass with two hands, good. Shift it, shift it, shift it, good. Good, good job, good, good, stop, excellent. The only thing I would say there by feedback, is there nail gun passing? Like they've been now. So, uh, all right. So, <laughs> got a point and pass every time. That's all I would say. That's really good, though, wasn't it? No deflections. Add a third defender. Quick, quick. All right, play. Good. Move it. Shift it. Shift it. Someone's open. Someone's open. Good. Move it. Move it. Move it. Move the ball. Move the ball. Shift it, shift it. Good, not bad. All right, now swap it over. So go four, four V3, so blue, someone blue jump in. V3 defenders. So start it off static. Start it off static. Now, you're gonna do the same thing, just, just do it slowly so for, the, for the coaches, they're not as smart as players. All right, we're moving it, we're moving it, all right? Open player. All right, do it with some level of interest. Yep, all right. Now, when I say release, when I say release, all right, you're up here. Oh, no, you can stay there. Blue, if you've got the ball, you have to dribble, all right, out to the three-point line. Everyone has to run out to the three-point line. As that happens, you sprint in so it becomes four on four, and your job, only job in life is to make five passes to get a point. So we start off birds in the box, then we make it more game-like. We layer it, right, so you get ready to sprint in. So when I say go, you would retreat dribble, three-point line, three-point line, three-point, and you run in and get the closest dude. All right, play. Good, move it, move it, move it, move the ball. Zing it, zing it, come on, move it, move the ball. Go, go, good. One, good. Two, three, four, good, stop. How was the intent? Pretty good. They did some practice where they were zinging it around. How many deflections when they went to four and four live? None, all right. And guys who had chest over the knee, and they like I'm look, bam, you know, I want to get you the ball. Right? So that was a pretty good example. Here we go, swap it over. Alright, so when I say go, whoever's got it, three-point line, right? You sprint in and your only job in life is trying to get a deflection. Alright? So don't run to a man, run to a gap. Play, zing it, here we go, zing it, move the ball, move the ball, good. Good, pass it, pass it. Good, zing it, zing it, zing it, zing it. Good, go, go. Get it, get it, get it. Good job, move it, shift it. Good, move, good. Good job, good. Good. All right, that's pretty good. All right, the last thing, because I won't run over time, the last thing, you want to be able to add things to drills as much as you can. So guys, listen. Same drill. When I say go, fourth guy run in, you guys are making passes. When I say change, you've got to drop it where you are. 
and then the other team, you're fast breaking that way for a basket. So it becomes a, a one possession game. So we're going from controlled to guided to live in the one drill. So now, if I'm coaching a team, I'm saying, hey, we've got birds in the box series, right? In eight minutes, we're doing all three of these things. I'm playing. And we're getting, in that eight minutes, 40 to 50 passes, which is a hell of a lot better than... All right, understand what we're gonna do? Right, here we go. Move it, shift it, shift it, move it, move it, move it, move it, shift it, shift it, shift it, shift it, move it, move it, shift it, go, go! Change! Hold up. Not only did the shot clock go off, the game's over, everyone's gone, you're locked in the stadium. Come back, all right? You've got to make things applied. So that's my fault. I should have given them a, a 10 second shot clock going the other way, all right? I, that then, there was, there was nine passes made in that drill, in that bit there, between the birds in the box, between that and at the other end, they, they made pa nine passes pretty good. Right? How many fumbles down there? Anyone count? At least a couple, yeah. I think there was three, right? Th fumbles are bad. Now, you don't yell at them, but you've got to make change. And they'll be good at exactly what you want them to be good at. If you want to be a great passing team, they'll be a good passing team. But you've got to drive it, you've got to have rules, you've got to have parameters about how to do it, and you've got to weave it into your drills. You've got to celebrate the successes when they pass it well, right? And you've got to hold them to account when they don't. It's pretty simple. And holding to account doesn't mean yell and scream. It just means, hey, remember we on that? So you fumbled that, why? Ask questions. Oh, because I didn't move my feet towards the catch. Yeah, great, next one, let's go but hold them to account. It's to David's point on the shooting. You know, don't worry about being a bit pedantic. If you improve their ability to shoot, that's a massive positive. You've got a huge tick next to your name as a coach. If you can improve passing and catching, huge tick. So don't worry about, oh, they might find this boring. Find ways to layer it, find ways to move quickly from the simple to the more complex, from the simple to games of context, games of purpose. I don't like the term small-sided games. Do things that happen in games.